Welcome to 4TL7, Gray Malkin Lane. This is a live member of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay. Dark Web Dawn, written by Zeb Wells with Adam Kubert and Francisco Mart Mortarino with Scott Hanna. Um, man, okay. So uh, I've been checking out the X-Men portion of this. Apparently, there's like a some Spider Man stuff, some come on, some Miss Marvel stuff, and uh, I didn't get to that because it's not X Men related. But from what I've read from the dark, from the X Men side of this, and from the beginning of this, and being a fan of Zeb Wells from like New Mutants two thousand and nine, this was fun. This is a nice, fun little thing that actually had big consequences. Like big things are changing. Things are changing. So, you know, getting into it. Um, we saw in Dark Web X-Men, Madeline and Scott and Jean have all mended their fences. They're on the same side. Hallelujah. Never thought I'd see this. Finally, you know, that's something I always kind of realized. Um, uh, the 90s, if that, that, that was a critique, just think about it, they never really settled anything, they just like brung them back, add new stuff, and then they don't resolve it. We we never got any real resolution like, like that, or like a comp it's nice, it's nice, like. I remember Madeline came back like twice. Okay, no, no, okay. She came, she was part of X Men, the X Men series, and she was great. She was a really like, she's good. I, and she was a recurring character in that, in that book, and eventually becoming the villain. <laughs> but nobody remembers that. And the last, and before, after that, it was the 12 storyline where she tried to convince Cable to leave with her. Madeline's always been a very interesting character and like very easily you can like, oh, okay, this is whatever. She's not really important, but she really is important. She was the heart of the story. It's about letting, getting over your anger. Like, not being a victim. And I would really, really like for Madeline. I, okay. I'm going on. I went on a complete tangent. Uh, so, so what's going on? We have um, New York completely just messed up. They totally demon infested. And we got Spider Man with Madeline Pryor and the X Men, which consist of Iceman, Firestar, Forge, uh, Phoenix, Cyclops, Magic, and Sink. And then we, as well, we have, um, you know, J. Joy Jameson and, <laughs> and Robbie, Robbie Robinson, which this is kind of funny because at this point in the story, if we think about it, what sins of sinister, they're they're about to be infected. That's oh, it's crazy, right? Oh, per, time travel is it's so much fun. I love time travel. Um. Uh. So led by Spider Man, they uh with also like this new guy they got. Uh. Uh, Rick, uh, Rick, Rick, and I, I, okay, I am going to read the rest of this, the other half of the story because I want to understand where, like, I don't really need to, but like, it's fun. And we get Madeline taking center stage. She wants to solve the problem. Like, I made a mistake. I'm going to fix it. I'm like, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that that's that's a shooter right there. Um they're taking 
they're uh and apparently like the bad guys they win the da and they fight the x-men and it's just like you know lots lots of cool stuff see mad oh we see madeline just go f- like she like she ain't no joke spider-man is going up against um i guess the bad guy who is supposed to be ben riley and i think uh his name is skyth or something so like it's it's crazy it's it's just a bunch of fights like great fights great scenery uh we get oh we get like uh a background <laughs> uh peter parker actually says like spider-man says something really funny he says when i heard the dramatic cue i i just hoped it was the avengers <laughs> it, it instead of the avengers it was um norman osborne and kamala khan what which is really good because you know Norman Osborn on the side of good. Like he's doing everything right. It's awesome. Um, then we get like <sighs> Madeline proves that she is a boss. Like the demons, like so Chasm, the uh, the bad guy. Actually, you know what? I want to check actually see what, what this dude's name is. His name Yes, his name is Chasm. Yes, I was completely right. All right, so Chasm, he has all the demons in limbo under his control. And uh, Madeline's just like, she just kind of pulls out a lot. like, who are you talking to? Like, who are you talking to? You know who I am? Like, whoa. Oh, sh- that, like, it's crazy. And we get some really, some great stuff. Like even Ileana is like, whoa. It's like, hell, I almost took a knee. <laughs> it's gr- oh. Well, you know, they deal with Madeline deals with Chasm, and it's a nice little fight, and they take him down, and Madeline comes up with this really interesting plan, and like she does something really bold revolutionary for limbo made it into a real place like where where people can go like trying to like instead of hurting people they're trying to make like it's a place where falling people go i don't don't know it's weird uh (laughs) madeline i really like this exchange between scott and madeline and like, I know they're not. I know they're not into each other, but I feel like she gave him do a doomy vibe, but not just him. Her too. <laughs> oh, it'd be funny. That's great, is it? Um, the ending, like you know, Spider Man figures out, like you know, he's seeing, he's he's in, uh, he's visiting, Chasm Ben Riley, and Ben Riley is like. Doesn't really, well, just doesn't really want to mess with them. It's crazy. Um, Scott and Jean are talking to Maddie. Uh, they basically showing that Limbo is a real place. Cool. I'm giving this whole thing. I'm giving it like a like a four two five. It's good. I liked it. It's fun. <laughs> It's really fun. Uh, you thought it, like this was so. It was so nice after Judgment Day, and it only took like a couple months. It wasn't crazy, but uh, I, I I really like it. I want. Um, what do you think? All right, this is this is really. This is fun. Like I, I, I want to see more books like this. I want. I actually want to see where Maddie goes off from here. Like, Limbo. She has established Limbo as a place. She's 
you know, it's it's its own thing. It's a land, like Asgard. There you go. <sighs> it's fourteen oh seven Grand Monkey Lane. Signing out.